This review is of the Toastmaster Cool Touch Belgian Waffle Baker. Um, I just actually used it. It does come with an uh, instruction booklet in multiple languages. Um, one of the things you need to note is the first time before you use it, you should follow the instructions for the what they call the grids, which is, you know, each of these is a, a grid, right? Um, so you need to make sure to apply a light coating of uh, vegetable shortening to the grids and then run it uh, for about five minutes, which I already did. Um, and then when you are ready to, or when you're ready to clean it, you should do it while it's still warm. Um, but unplug it first, of course. So I'm finding it a bit challenging to to clean it. Let's see if I can get the angle right here for you. All right, so there we go. I'm finding it a little bit challenging to clean parts of it just because of the awkwardness of the of the design sometimes. Um, but other areas are easy to clean. Um, Obviously, um, well not obviously, actually, you may not be aware, but these devices are not meant to be submerged in your sink. If you were to actually submerge this and then use it um, within a re reasonably short amount of time thereafter, in the next day or two, it would probably be destroyed because the internal parts where all the heating elements and the exposed wiring and, and connections are would be flooded with water and you'd create a short circuit. Um, then that obviously is not something that you want. Now I wouldn't have to clean this right now if I hadn't used uh, blueberries and, wa and um, chocolate chips in my waffles. And I didn't use the waffle recipe that they gave in the booklet. Uh, my daughter found a different recipe. Uh, the recipe in the booklet is fine. It's just that it uses yeast. And uh, I had already asked my daughter to find a good recipe to use. And she found a good one. Um, the only different thing that I did was, you know, normally you put people like to put, like, fruit sauce or... Um, maybe syrup, like maple syrup or something, on their waffles. And um, since uh, we're a little bit short on syrup right now, I didn't uh, do that. So at, whereas the instructions uh, for the recipe that I used only asked for a small amount, I think it was like two tablespoons of sugar, uh, I used probably about a cup of sugar uh, in addition to, of course, the blueberries and chocolate chips. And that allows for a much more pleasing flavor without, you know, without the necessity of all that syrup. Uh, so I'm not sure if it was exactly a, uh, a cup. I just kind of dole it out. Ugh. But um, I have to say the results were pretty good. Um, it was definitely with the addition of the chocolate chips and the blueberries challenging to pry it out, but I have a, uh, uh, a um, baking spatula with a silicone um, blade on it so I just simply use that or not blade but paddle I guess is the right word so I simply use that to pry the waffles out otherwise I would have had a, a hard time so definitely if you're gonna make waffles you don't want to have a huge amount of struggle don't you don't want to add things like blueberries and chocolate chips and stuff. Um, I'm not sure yet whether it's going to be significantly easier to clean this up when it's warm. Also not sure if it's going to be significantly easier to clean this up um, when I don't use blueberries and chocolate chips. 
there are areas that I can't clean because it's like this the crack here. I can't get in there to get the stuff out. So that's kind of frustrating. Now, the bad thing about me making the waffles the way I did with all that uh, chocolate and blueberries is that you're supposed to um, use the shortening only if you have to clean it. And because there's so much stuff stuck to this, well, I had to clean it. Um, and I'm actually doing my kids a favor because most likely that one of them would have had to do this otherwise. Neither of them are very enthused. And this is harder. We usually use like a foreman grill and we want to have pancakes. This is a lot harder, a lot more time consuming than cleaning the foreman grill. Um, I think I've gotten... Nope. Man. Okay. So maybe I will do this when it's still warm next time. And I know that sometimes that is definitely easier because the heat will help make the stuff slide off more easily than when it's cold, like now. So, but anyways, um, I've been rambling on here. I don't even know how long I've been rambling on. I'm sorry for that. Just wanted to show this to you and say it did a good job. I'm pleased with it. Um, the, except for the condensation buildup in the double light system, which I will just briefly show you uh, so you can actually see for yourself. Okay, so you should now be able to see, you can see a bit of water condens uh, condensed inside of that lens there. Um, not as much as before, but, you know, it does concern me. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.